This is just a short video to show you the program I use to make my flip videos. It's called OBS, I'll put a link in the description. And I'm going to show you how you can use it instead of Screencast-O-Matic, which I see a lot of people using. Um, and you'll notice it doesn't have that ugly watermark down the bottom. And it's very simple to use, perhaps even simpler than Screencast-O-Matic from what I've seen. So for the standard setup, all you need is your webcam and your display capture. To set that up, you'll just go here. Display capture for the screen, which you see is the mirror repeating backwards and backwards forever. And you can add images if you want, which I'll show you in a sec. And the other thing you'll need is a video capture device. It's really easy to set up. As you see, you just create one, make a name. Um, I've got the three different ones that I use, which is one where I use a green screen and one where I don't. And the one I'm using now, which is the built-in laptop webcam. So these two things are the only things you'll need to make this. Um, the keys you could use are control up and control down, which just um, moves the layers on top of each other so that one's sitting on top of the other. And this way you can put in whatever you need to do. So I could, for example, open a PowerPoint and still have my face here if I like. Okay, now for this I'll just show you how you could use OBS to make it look a little bit more fancy. And to do that, again, I've already preset some things, but for example, I could add the school logo, you could add social media, you know, if you really wanted to go full YouTube and advertise yourself. Um, what else? I could put this here, which is also it's the thing I use for my YouTube channel. And then we just keep moving things up. You could put a logo in if you really want. Uh, if you really wanted, you could do sort of that setup and then you um, minimize the screen you're using for the screen capture and then you'll minimize it into there. So for me, that would look something like this. So I'd move the display capture up. Well, everything, you'll notice a red line, that just means you can drag it and move it. So I would line up my screen capture like that. Whoops, not like that. I'd line it up so that it fits. And then if you want, you could put sort of a border that makes sense for the presentation you're making. And then if I go to the screen capture, then that will be sitting within the vision that you see there. Okay, and just again, another thing you can do, if you right click on the image you're using, go to filters, uh, and then you'll need to minimize a little bit for me on my small laptop screen. Uh, you go to color correction, give it a name, and then you just make the opacity, say 33, 40, whatever you want to use and it'll make it see-through, so it's still there, you can barely see it. This is how you could make your own watermarks if you want to, um, if you're worried about someone taking a video for whatever reason. So I hope that's been useful. Um, leave me a comment if you think of anything you would do to add to make this look better, or a simpler way to do what I'm doing, rather than what I've suggested here.